So in this video, let's have a look at the video I originally did for Affinity Photo, but this time this version is for Affinity Designer. And that is putting different images into individual letters. It's a really simple process, but sometimes uh, the mechanics of it can escape people who are new to the software. So let's have a look. I've designed this as a sublimation special because towards the end I make it into a sublimation template that can be used in that process. Not for everybody I guess, but some people will like it. Now this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put individual images inside individual letters. Now this is the same images I used on photos, but you can see you could have family members in there, family pets, you could have patterns, you could have anything you like. Now create a new background. We've got to launch Affinity Designer. Now I purposely created an artboard, called it Artboard 1. I can't even remember what size I made it. I think I just picked an A4 artboard and created it. And it's in portrait mode. Now you might think that's odd because what we want is landscape mode. But no, nope, I just made it portrait because I can show you how to convert this. So let's do that down the track for now. You've launched Affinity Designer, created your artboard, a, a transparent one I might add, import the ink splatter background that's got a transparency built into it. Now I provide that in the, um, in the files on the website. Place it as the bottom layer. It's an SVG file this time. Now adjust it to suit the orientation. So. I want the ink splatter or the main part of the ink splatter just in there where you can see it. You'll find this background supplied with the files for this exercise on my website and the address is in the YouTube description. Type in the word love. Using artistic text, drag out the word love. Set the font to Abril Fat Face. Doesn't matter what colour it is, just leave it black. Set to the center vertically and horizontally, so it's easy to work with. Now here's the trick. Select the text layer, and you can see over there on the right hand side, there's one text layer. Tap the commands, that's the little dots up the top there, and tap convert to curves. Now if you're using the desktop, it's a slightly different method. Well, it's the same method, but different commands. You'll have to go find them. Tap convert to curves and that converts your one word love into individual letters. Now in the layers panel we notice there's a group made up of the letters as individual curves in their own layers. And you can see that there. Now that we have our individual letters we can locate images or patterns to place in each letter. So let's take the first letter L. I want to put an SVG or EPS type images into the letters. That's because um, we're using vector design here. And that means when the whole thing's finished you can scale it to any size you like. And it won't, as long as you don't create a PNG with it, that won't scale. But if you export it to an SVG file, you can scale it to any size you like. If we keep the entire document as ve vector shapes, we can scale it, as I said, to any shape we want. And then you export it. Meantime, I've located four suitable vector images I can use. <clears throat> and the first is called Bunny SVG. Place the image on a, <coughs> excuse me, on a layer directly above the L. And it's very faint there, and that's a, that's a function of uh, iPad affinity designer on iPad it's it, I can't get it any brighter than that so you'll just have to <laughs> you'll just have to do the best we can the best way to reduce the size is in transform studio don't try and drag the handles you'll deform the image tap the lock to force the aspect ratio to stay the same and then reduce one side so it brings the image down proportionally Now we have the size we want, and you can see that it, the L is just poking through. It's just enough to cover some of the pattern of the bunny. 
You can move that image of the bunny around to wherever you like to get any part of the image you want in there. When you're happy, then it's finished. Now you can move your image into place, making sure it's just above the L layer. Select the image and drag it down to halfway into the L layer. You'll see the blue line about halfway. Let it go and it will be masked by the L. And you can see it drops to one side there slightly. And on the main canvas you can see that the L is masking it. And all you can see is the, is the colour of the bunny through the layer. Very tricky. So now let's complete the other letters. Adjust the size to best fit the letter. You can see I've got a couple of little animals there. But there's a whole sheet of them, but only a couple of them will show through that letter because it's only that letter that it's related to. Now drag the image layer into the letter as before. Halfway down, let it go, and there it is. They're just the animals you can see. A couple of owls, I think, or mice or something like that. Some strange cartoon fantasy animal. So now let's complete the other letters. Repeat the process. Adjust the size to best fit. Drag the image layer into the letter as before. And notice that all the images are SVG type images. Some are even groups of animals as I mentioned. Now the top one you'll notice has got a background. But it's still SVG. Doesn't matter. All images are in place. If you're concerned by the fact that it's got a background in one of your SVG images, just remove the background and it becomes transparent again. You can see the two in the middle, O and V, the images in there are transparent. That's why you can see the black behind the animals. All images are in place. Now let's dress it up a little as I did with the photo version. Duplicate the L layer and remove the image sub-layer so you're left with just the L. You can see it there, nice blue I've coloured it. Bring it below the original and colour it. Now go back to the original layer, just above the L there, and reduce its opacity to 65%. You can see the bunny through it. While still on the original layer, go to FX tool and add an outer shadow that complements the L colour. Apply the settings as shown, and you can see it just out there. There's a there's a, an outer shadow. Your layer should now look something like this. You can see the ink spatter is still a wide rectangle, and that's just how we want it. With two letters complete, you start to see the potential. Now let's turn this into a sublimation design for a mug that's 6.4 by 2.8 inches. Fairly standard size kitchen coffee mug. Now to do this we've got to change the artboard. Select the artboard, make sure the artboard's selected, not, not something else there. Tap the document tool on the top toolbar and tap resize. This will resize the artboard.